Hello people, again, second time of today. Uh, I just wanted to quickly run you through how you can research and potentially find content clusters for your blog or e-commerce site in whatever area you want to cover. So in this example, I asked, and obviously, evidently, this is using ChatGPT. You can then go and do some further research and find further topics. This is supposed to give you uh, ideas for how you can approach some of these uh, content clusters. It's not the be all and end all, but I do believe it's a very, very good start. So uh, for this ex topical example, I asked ChatGPT to give me 10 semantically relevant topics for camping equipment. You might want to sell camping equipment on your website, or you might want to cover uh, reviewing camping equipment, or you want might want to talk about camping equipment on your blog. I don't know. But this is a relevant example for how you can build content clusters. So I asked ChatGPT to give me 10 semantically relevant topics for camping equipment. It then went away and gave me 10 semantically relevant topics. So tents, sleeping bags, camping stoves, etc., etc. Uh, I then asked ChatGPT to list five subtopics per topic. So tents, you might want to cover what types of tents there are on your category page or blog, what materials are being used, size and capacity, tent accessories, rain flies, I have no idea what that is, uh, how to set up your tent and how to maintain it. That might want to be a cluster in that kind of tent section. Uh, sleeping bags, so again, temperature ratings, camping stoves, backpacks, camping lights and lanterns. It stopped at five because it wasn't sure whether I wanted to uh, go through all of them. And I, I then asked ChatGPT to continue and it found uh, subtopics for camping chairs, camping coolers, camping hygiene and sanitation, you know, how you want to take care of that, uh, knives and tools, tarps and shelters. And it gave me some fairly relevant subtopics that you might want to cover, like I say, in either uh, pillar page with clusters or an e-commerce uh, page. I could now, for example, ask it to uh, give me five keywords a user might use per subtopic. So uh, give me five keywords uh, that are relevant under each subtopic see what it does um, type yes it's gone and look at types of tents as the main topic and it's going away and giving me some relevant keywords that obviously I would have to do more re research on you could focus on one each and you could then say give me 10 keywords on rainfly and it will give you semantically relevant keywords and you could probably then uh, cluster that by search intent as an example so sleeping bag accessories uh, so yeah so here if we go types of tents that's what it started with, I believe. Yeah, tents. And it gave me a section for types of tents, materials used, size, tent setup and maintenance. So types of tents. Yeah, that, so it's then moved on to sleeping bags next here. So again, I could then ask for further breakdowns of keywords, which I could then cluster further and further. So this should give you an idea of how you could maybe start with an idea as to how to get content clusters and ideas, uh, which you can then explore further for pretty much any topic on your site or category page you might want to cover. Um, it's not exhaustive, but I could guarantee that not everyone has got this level of detail, um, especially if you want to see growth uh, in your organic traffic. So yeah, let me know what you think. I'll be obviously releasing one of these every day. Tomorrow I'm probably going to cover a new tool. But as usual, most of you that are watching this are not subscribed. Uh, so if you can do me a favor and either subscribe to the YouTube channel or follow me on LinkedIn uh, as a result of uh, 
perhaps enjoying this video, that'd be great. I'll see you in the next one. Over and out.